Hi, I'm Susan Lu. Today my guest is Eva Caldwell. Eva is a singer and a social worker. Be Kind is her life philosophy, and she inspired many people to be just that. Eva, you've been a social worker for quite some time. Would you tell us about that? Well, it's been a really wonderful journey because as a very young social worker at the age of 20, I was seconded by the then Grace McCarthy, and um, I've, I've really enjoyed every aspect of it. But what gets me now, like I, I am just a, a grandmother, a singer, I, I want to be singer, um, but I see so much trouble in the world, and I right now volunteer at the Downtown Eastside Women's Center. I've been going there for 17 years. I am one of the women speaking for the women, but in my world, it's a world of rainbows. I don't look at color. To me, I just love all the colors. So my songs and my work now really relate to showing other people that kindness is the way that we can really change lives because it's loneliness that kills in the downtown east side and everywhere. It's loneliness that's killing the seniors because they lose touch with their families. And I have to tell you, while I've been singing here at the Carnegie, I've got a lot of people that come up to me and they see me, they say, you make me want to try again, like just because you're smiling at me. So, if a song can do that, and if kindness as a mantra can be do that, then why not? I'm happy to do it. It's been, and the best is yet to come. And I'm just going to show this, because this is important for me too. Red Women Rising is so important to what I do. But um, I come here because the future is ours to change. We can make a stance that makes a difference. Can being kind, giving a smile, change your life? Oh, yes. I understand being kind is your model. So you encourage many people to follow you on your path. Would you give us an example of what you do? Well, my, my best example is my choir of angels because while I've been in the downtown east side in the last year, um, when I say, I've been coming for 17 years, but I've been going back and forth. I live in the downtown east side, but it's just a journey, isn't it? What I've been doing with my choir of angels is trying to get people to sing, just pure and simple. I'm not a professional choir master, I'm not a professional guitarist, but I just think everybody can make a beautiful voice together. And whether it's drumming, whether it's singing with guitar, whether it's just on a street corner, that's where we have the most, mm -hmm. most chance. So I think it just encourages, like singing is love, is kindness, that's it. Pretty wow. simple for me. You are a singer. You are a later bloomer. So what inspired you to chase your dreams? Well, I always loved singing and I've sung in a lot of church choirs. My, my father, who is Polish, um, started ethnic radio um, here in Vancouver and music festivals. He worked with the Greeks because he wanted there to be Polish music everywhere. But for me, um, that becomes part of what I do. Like, I, I am a late bloomer, but it was only when he died three years ago that I felt free to sing the music that I wanted to sing, which is really rock and blues. I am the queen of the rock and blues. Um, but I'm doing that in the context of, of what the reality is here in the downtown east side. I mean, yes, I do want to sing. I'm 63. It's, it's uh, hard to think, yes, I do want to be on the cover of the Rolling Stones or at least the Georgia Strait. But um, whether that happens or not doesn't matter. But I am able 
to sing now and realize my dream. And I am always a social worker. You know, there's a saying, once a social worker, always a social worker. Please don't hate me for it. I think I was a pretty good one, but I think I'm even better when I'm a singing social worker because people relate to the music. I like your flowers, your colors, it's beautiful. So you describe yourself as a rainbow. It, there's a very funny little story and it relates to me being Polish. Um, my father uh, did many things, the music promoting, bringing in 200 voice choirs into the Vancouver Playhouse and he had six children at home and um, we had to answer the phone for him and so I got inventive. I thought it would be great. Our last name is Latek, which is not a very Polish name, but to me it sounded like latex paints. So I would answer the phone, hi, this is Eva, what is your color? What's your, you know, instead of asking them their name, I asked colors, but I just wondered what their favorite color was. It wasn't that color in itself was important. And it was just like a little girl thing that I just, as I, beca I became a master gardener 42, uh, 26 years ago, a social worker for 43 years, but the color in the flowers relates to the fact that I think we have to share, you know, that beauty. And as a, I teach in the Vancouver School Boards a program called hashtag recycle, compost and grow, but it's all about human lives because we have to look at ourselves. Like sometimes we have to look at the things that are important to us, yes. water, land, air, our community, our culture, building those interconnections. So it's important. So if we can do it in simple ways by teaching people how to have a zero, or no, it's not zero, 5% carbon footprint. If we can do that, if we can teach, you know, those are the ways where I say I love, I sing, and, I, and I'm kind in all those ways. But flowers and music has always been a part of what I do. Yeah, sure, you are colorful. I mean, look at this. What's in the future? forever, the singing social work. I have big dreams. Big dreams where two days ago when I was working the bingo floor at the downtown Eastside Women's Center, another woman and I designed a building, a building that incorporates community and culture on every floor and where women and men can learn to live together and support each other. And it was really meaningful, like to have a project that I can say to the Women's Center, okay, we need $200 million. We need housing. I mean, I know that there are many ways to get housing and I've certainly been trying to look at the ways that I can help in that way in my own, my own way. But it, it's exciting to me to think that two grandmothers can sit down and before bingo, we work out a plan to, to the, right down to the center and how it operates and all with what is already existing within the downtown east side. I mean, that's why it's exciting. Like this is now and um, this is today. We're doing it and we're looking at these challenges, but the way that I feel it all works together is that on a day-to-day -day basis, you have to live your principles. And now, we will hear one of your songs. Oh, great! <laughs> and can you tell us a little bit about it and what you want to communicate to your listeners? Well, I thought about it a lot, and um, I was going to do a love song, but I really thought I would do the song that you may have mentioned. It's called Angry Angel in A, because um, it sort of describes how I came to be here, you know, and uh, my little vision. Now, I'm not saying I am an angel, but I think we can all be angels to one another. And what I'll do, like if you want me to start, I'll, I'll put this down and talk myself into it. Here is Eva with Angry Angel in A. I'm an angel, it's true. I'm here to But 
sometimes fallen angels cry for they know too well the pain inside and I'm angry at me angry at you for the so imperfect oh yeah honey and so am I and you I came to earth a sinner oh yeah Destined to wander for centuries alone. Oh no. Then love found a way. And now I love. And I pray. But I'm angry at me, angry at you, for the world is so imperfect, oh, yeah. and so are you. Going to blame it all on you. I mourn those who died oh yeah on the high way of tears and in their minds indigenous hearts bear the scars Residential schools, social workers, lawyers, government. We all had a part. But I'm angry at me. Angry at you. For the world is so imperfect. So what are we going to do? I'm an angel, it's true. I'm here to love you. But sometimes fallen angels cry. Big tears, for they know too well the pain inside. My name is Ava. I'd like all of you to be kind just once, and you can save a life. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. We hope you continue to create beautiful music and inspire people to be kind. You can follow Eva's adventures and beautiful smile. It's a link displayed below. I'm Susan Wu for Access Television. Please follow us on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you for watching.